Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today I wanted to do something a little different from my first two videos and make a proper tutorial. Uh, today I want to touch upon something really simple that I think everybody, even those who, are ju who have just picked up a pen today, could probably draw. I want to draw a cat. And I want to show you guys how a cat can be drawn to uh, your taste. Now, first off, you want to start with a circle, because circles, you want to start with a proper circle that doesn't, you want to start with a circle that doesn't look like a lopsided football, or whatever this is, uh, no matter. A anyway, you want to uh, start with a circle, because circles are very friendly, they're very friend-shaped. Many people who know shape language will usually use circles when they're trying to make cute characters. And I think that cats are very, very cute characters. And we can uh, justify this as such. Now, cats tend to uh, loaf around a lot. There's, there's a reason why we call them cat loafs, right? So I'm gonna uh, give this cat the proper loafy body that it needs to exist as a cat and just enjoy its life. And you'll notice I'm making the body a lot smaller than the head. That's because I like my cartoonish proportions. It makes the features that you need to stand out stand out, i.e. the face that is not there currently, but is going to be there if we give it enough time. So we're going to connect this body in this head with some lines, and we're just going to let the cat loaf out a little bit. See, it's already, it's already kind of coming together to look like uh, s something. Yeah, it's definitely something. So now we're gonna give this cat ears. We could do a lot with the ears, but I think we can go with just traditional little cat ears, kind of like this. Because we can get away, we can get away with it. They're just little, little cat ears, a little long, but that's okay. Cats are, cats are all different. They all have different types of ears. And there's no need to be going around and shaming them for uh, having different ear types. Because it's all good. They're all just cats, after all. Now, cats are very good at seeing in the dark. Their pupils can dilate very to very, very large sizes so that they can take in basically every ounce of light they can get from whatever they're looking at. So we're going to reflect that properly with this cat and give it some big old seeing balls. And we're just going to... We're going to fill it in properly so that you can tell the cat's pupils are properly dilated in a very nice and friendly way. What is it looking at? I don't know. And you better hope that you don't find out. <laughs> now that the cat has its eyes properly formed, we need to remember cats are very happy creatures. And... Because of that, I think we should depict this cat with a proper smile. I think that all cats are very, very, despite their grumpiness, can be very, very happy creatures. So I think a smile like this is definitely something that all cats have, everyone, at least every once in a while. Because, come on, these, these are happy creatures. What do they have to be sad about? They get waited on? by humans, hand and foot, and they have no reason to be, they have no reason to be sad about it. What else would they be if not happy? Don't forget the little M on top of the head, on top of the head. Most cats have that. Uh, not sure why, I think it's just a marking thing that happens when they're born, but, you know, it's fine. Now what we have to do is uh, give this cat some legs, because uh, this cat loaf can't move. It's got nothing with which to locomote. So we're gonna, we gotta remember, cats are very, very graceful creatures that like to travel a lot. They can use their front paws to manipulate stuff, even in ways that dogs sometimes don't. So we've gotta give these cats, or this cat here, some very, very nice front limbs to work with. So we're just gonna give it a good, good couple of couple of uh, fingies because they need them to, to work around and do their stuff. So now we have one hand down. We're going to make another one. 
And it doesn't really matter where the other arm goes because, well, cats are really, uh... Cats really don't need... Uh, cats don't obey the laws of physics. Fun fact about cats, actually. Anywhere that they can get their head and collarbone through, they can get through. And let me tell you when I say this is no normal cat, so, uh... You might... You, you, this is a very fun cat. You're gonna have a lot of fun trying to, uh... Play hide and seek with this one. It's got real good vision and it can definitely smell you from wherever you're hiding. But don't worry, it's nice and friendly and it definitely won't bite. Despite the sharp teeth, I mean, it's it's not going to do anything to you. It's just because it's happy. That's why I'm showing them all off. Let's make this a little more. There we go. There we go. Now, cats... Cats are very good climbers. They can climb up trees. They can climb on basically anything they can get their claws into. So we gotta give their back legs some proper power. Like, this cat is gonna have some real, real nice old legs. Because this is, this is, this is the proper way a cat's legs should bend in order for it to climb and reach wherever it needs to go. Who knows? Maybe in a little, maybe in a, in a given due time, cats like this will learn to climb walls and buildings and into windows at night while you're sleeping, so it can prey on you. But anyway, this cat is very, very happy and it's enjoying its uh, a newfound power. I don't, I don't know. I a newfound power would definitely be a word I'd use, and it's a very good. Uh, it's a very good way to put it, I think, because this cat is, uh, very, very happy about its new abilities. It's definitely, it's excited. It's absolutely, look at this face. Look at this face. It's absolute. it's so happy. I mean, look at it. Now, for the piece de resistance, we need to add on the tail, because all cats have most some cats have tails. Not all of them. There is a there is a tailless breed. Uh, there is a tailless breed of cat. If I remember to edit it in, I'll put it in. I probably won't remember, but it's worth a shot anyway. Um, but for this cat in particular, I think we need to put a very... I think it needs a long tail on this one. A very long tail. And cats... Cats can't really grip things with their tails. But I think this one being able to would make it nice and special. Just, because who doesn't want a special cat? Who doesn't want a special cat? Who does not want a special cat that can use its tail to grip things? And maybe open doors in the night. Or, uh, maybe just open windows. Or maybe climb up to, climb up to three stories into your apartment and greet you at night. Now, I think that we might have made the, uh, this is the true representation of what a cat is. Let me, uh, zoom out a little bit so we can, uh, see our masterpiece right here. Uh, there we go. Look at that. That is truly an amazing cat. I think, I think this is the best portrayal of what a cat just looks like. I, I think, I think this is the best way for anybody to just look at a cat and draw what they see. If you uh, enjoyed this, I'll see you in the next video. And, uh, I'm sorry.